The city of Newark today unveiled a monument of Harriet Tubman in a square named after the abolitionist. She even lived in Cape May in the 1850s. As CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports, big names from Newark gathered to celebrate Tubman's fearless contributions to American history. The monument honors Harriet Tubman, who risked everything to free enslaved people, all with a bounty on her head. She went and got us over and over and over again. This monument is about us, that in our story, Moses is a black woman, ragged, clothes with a Bible and a shotgun. Underground Railroad and had been exposed by an informant. Newark native Queen Latifah's voice part of the experience, telling the story of the key figure of the Underground Railroad. We want people to know, to feel, to understand what was at stake and how incredibly brave. Harriet Tubman was. The monument sits where Christopher Columbus statue once stood. There is nothing patriotic in looking away from our nation's original sin. The artist who created the monument in Harriet Tubman Square says she wanted it to be interactive. Not everyone learns best by seeing or reading, so adding additional components, including the audio, makes for a fully layered experience. A descendant of the freedom fighter also at the ceremony. Something to be learned by her compassion and her wanting to do something so courageous. Newark residents also a part of the experience, able to tell their own story with tiles. This has all of my initials, my birth year, and also my logo because just as this monument is going to stand the test of time, so will that, so will that tile. Mayor Ross Baraka is saying the monument near an underground railroad stop not only represents a black history, but American history. In Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.